Sitio Conte, a cemetery in which ancient chiefs were buried with their gold ornaments, lies on a Pacific coastal plain in central Panama. The site was not discovered until the early 1900s, when a river, the Rio Grande de Cocle, flooded its banks and cut a new channel, exposing several graves. Exquisite pieces of worked gold washed into the river and were found by the local people. Eventually, news of these exciting finds found its way to the world of archaeology. On January 25, 1940, a team of archaeologists began to excavate a section of the Sitio Conte Cemetery. They were led by Dr. J. Alden Mason, then a curator at the University Museum of the University of Pennsylvania. Mason had become curator at the museum in 1926. He was a well-rounded anthropologist whose interests included American Indian languages and culture, folklore, and archaeology. He had done extensive field work throughout the Americas. Mason and his co-workers hoped to find evidence that would allow them to determine the age of the cemetery and to reconstruct aspects of this pre-Columbian society. By careful excavation and recording, the archaeologists' research goals were met. Although many examples of pre-Columbian Panamanian gold are found in museums and private collections today, most were not scientifically excavated. Many pieces of gold work were obtained through the illegal activities of looters and are without documentation. These artifacts are stripped of cultural meaning when removed from their archaeological context. But with the proper documentation, a great deal of invaluable information about the past can be revealed. At Sitio Conte, each artifact was carefully exposed, recorded on film and on plan and section drawings, and after removal to the field camp, measured and described in detail. As a result, nearly 50 years later, we are able to use the expedition's records to extract more information about the people that used the Sitio Conte Cemetery. In fact, much of what we know about ancient Panamanian society of 1,200 years ago is based on the evidence gathered at Sitio Conte. A gridded frame was designed by the project's photographer, Robert H. Merrill, to record accurately the location and relative placement of exposed artifacts. The use of the grid for photographing groups of artifacts saved many hours of time, usually devoted to drawing them by hand. Duplicate exposures were taken of each group of artifacts, the first with the grid in place, the second without it, to reveal details without obstruction. Another photographic innovation was the use of 16mm color motion picture film to record the excavation's progress. Excavations were limited to two trenches, one at the edge of the site and one major one near the site center. This larger trench was excavated to a depth of about four meters, exposing a series of burials throughout. Most of these were single graves, but nine were multiple burials. The largest of these, called Burial 11, contained 23 skeletons accompanied by numerous whole and broken pottery vessels and most of the gold found by Mason at Sitio Conte. A large quantity of the gold was associated with one skeleton, apparently the chief occupant of the burial. This individual was covered with gold items, including bead necklaces, cuffs, pendants, ear rods, and large embossed plaques. Burial 11 is one of the most spectacular found by archaeologists in the New World. The excavations ended on April 14, 1940, just before the start of the rainy season. In less than three months, artifacts from over 40 graves and caches had been uncovered, recorded, and removed. The excavations were refilled to return the site to its original condition. The final stage of the expedition involved packing excavated material for shipment to Philadelphia where it would be analyzed, conserved, and exhibited. Workers packed artifacts carefully into crates using bunch grass for packing material. The crates were loaded onto carts pulled by oxen for the first leg of the journey. Three tons of artifacts, including stone tools and weapons, pottery and gold ornaments, were shipped to Philadelphia. Mason and his crew closed down their camp and returned to the United States thus ending the University Museum's excavations at Sitio Conte.